Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video about uh, doing bachelors in Netherlands. So if you have not seen the previous video, then check the previous video in the info card above, uh, where you'll find what happens, uh, what you need to know before coming to the Netherlands for bachelors. And I'm joined by Yash from India. Uh, he is doing computer science bachelors in TU Delft, Netherlands. So he will share his experience of doing bachelors till now. Uh, so we'll start with the first question. So I'm going to start with the, the study load. Uh, yeah. And the thing about that is that it feels uh, a bit different for everybody. So, for example, if you have lots of programming experience, uh, it's not too hard. But if you're a beginner, then it is a lot of work. Uh, but it greatly depends on the individual. So study ahead if you can. Uh, you really have to work for every credit. Uh, they will never just give them to you easily. Uh, and all subjects have exams, uh, plus something extra like uh, mandatory assignments or a project. Uh, so every subject needs uh, hard work. Also, uh, like any other university or college, uh, there are good and bad teachers and professors. And as far as group work is concerned, uh, in the first year, uh, there were often issues because, because uh, students were dropping from the course like flies. Uh, for example, uh, we started off with nearly a batch of 1000 students, but at the end of the first year, only around 500 uh, remained. But group work became a lot better during the second quarter. Uh, also. Uh, regarding the grading of exams, it's done differently depending on the subjects. Usually you need at least a 5 out of a 10 in both finals and at least a 6 uh, to pass the course. So the course is pretty packed. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I have to say about that. Okay, and regarding the ECTS, like the European credits, you need to do 60 per year, right? Yeah, so for the first year, um, you have to have at least 45 or more credits if you want to transition to the second year. So without uh, at least 45, uh, they'll just basically kick you out. So you got to work for that. Yeah, and uh, there's 60 credits in one year and for a total of three years, that makes it 180 credits. So yeah, that's basically uh, the credits of the degree. And how much is like on an average each subject is like five or six ECTS each? I yeah, mean, uh, so I'm just talking the average because everyone has different, but the majority of the. Yeah, so like 95% of the courses are five EC each. So okay. the, yeah, so the structure is something like in a quarter you have three courses and you have obviously four quarters. So that makes it 12 courses and 12 times five credits is 60. 60 EC per year. Yeah, I, I found everybody quite helpful and amicable. Uh, as I said, uh, some of the teachers are really good. Uh, some of them are uh, like not exactly lecturers. They're basically PhD students who are researching and they are called on as lecturers. So yeah, it goes up and down sometimes. But uh, yeah, the lectures are usually available online and uh, some of the courses even offer uh, recorded lectures so you can check them out whenever you like. So it's not like uh, you have to be present. There's like there's like no bar for being present. You can stay at home, uh, get up whenever you want. You just have to get the credits if you want to stay there and you also have to make sure that you make it to the mandatory group assignments whenever needed. Yeah, that's also important. Yeah, and regarding uh, the group work, as I said, uh, initially uh, people weren't sure uh, if they were going to do the course and during when a project is going on, you hear that uh, two of your group members just dropped off the course. So there were some issues and we had to uh, join different groups in the middle of it. Yeah, but it's all pretty calm now because nobody's really dropping off. Okay. And did you find any like personally my experience like I did my bachelor's in India and then my master's uh, in Netherlands. So I found a really huge difference in terms of how the course is structured like the curriculum like the practical work theory and all these things. So in your case 
maybe the experience might be different but did you notice any kind of difference in the way the course is structured like the curriculum of the course or you did not notice any difference so the first caveat is that it's a three three year course uh so everything is like really jam packed um and as far as differences are concerned uh, i'm going to have to uh think about what my friends have told me about their experience in india because i haven't really gone to a college in india uh so first of all um they have the semester system and we have the quarter system here so mm-hmm. we have 10 weeks of study uh, followed by that basically it's 10 weeks per quarter it's not even like 3 months which which is technically a quarter of a year uh so yeah all the quarters are like 10 weeks so we have four weeks of studying and the fifth week is midterms and then four weeks of studying and then the 10th week is again uh, the final exams and instead in india it's like uh, a six month thing so yeah that's the i think that's the biggest difference uh, that should be noted but in terms of the structure uh, it's not really uh, the biggest uh, thing to discuss really yeah so in our uh, faculty of computer science uh, the biggest one i think is uh, christian huygens uh, mm-hmm. after like the huygens guy who invented the huygens principle and all that stuff so mm-hmm. yeah that's the, that's i think the biggest one uh, and it's uh, not really costly it costs like 25 euros or something and you also, get free coffee, right? like a, sorry uh, you get free coffee oh yeah 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 i forgot to mention <laughs> yeah you get free coffee yeah but you must bring along your own mug for whatever reason all right uh so yeah there's also a lot more of them uh but i am not aware of each and every one i'm just a member of like christian huygens yeah so yeah, i think but that's the popular one which uh, which i also remember in my masters yeah yeah it's i think the most popular one yeah in our faculty at least uh regarding the part time stuff Uh, as i mentioned in the previous video you can uh, do uber delivery which has which is pretty good for a student with a changeable uh, timetable you can work your own hours and they'll pay you accordingly also you can become a teaching assistant in year 2 uh, provided that you have all the 60 credits from year 1 um, yeah but you have to be uh, good at uh, whatever course and you have uh, some interviews with the the teaching team and then they pick you and the hourly wage for that uh, is something like 15 euros maybe a bit less than that yeah but it's something like that and but the, the thing with that is uh, that you have to work a certain number of hours per week so it really depends on the person which they would pick because a teaching assistant has kind of a bit more uh, academic feel to it so other rather than uber delivery uh, and it might be nice uh, to have on a on a curriculum vitae Yeah so uh, the overall atmosphere is pretty relaxed uh, but the number of students that uh, an indian would find in their current year at least in emcs or ev or uh, the computer science department as we call it it's pretty small like about a dozen on average uh, and like there are people all over the world studying there like from africa china different countries of europe like i've got a friend from luxembourg who's indian i've also got uh, people from romania and there are also some americans yeah so it's a pretty multicultural thing so you wouldn't notice you won't notice that difference from india really okay okay i'll start with the good one so the one thing i like uh, about the course is that it's got a lot of practical stuff in it so each and every course as i mentioned uh, in the previous video it's got exams plus it's got some project work or some mandatory assignments which you need to pass it's not just writing reports all the time or filling out uh, you know uh, an assignment or something that's just thrown in the garbage after that we really learn from um, the assignments it's really ingrained together the, the the course material and the assignments so you really learn something material yeah so that's one thing i feel like it's not money wasted also uh one thing that i don't necessarily like hmm this is a tough one <laughs> i don't think there's anything in particular that's wrong with the course itself um 
one thing I don't like about the course is that I'm some, I sometimes I just feel that it should be a four year course instead of a three year course because in a three year course it's just all mushed into one thing and it's just mushed together a little bit more. So it just feels a bit packed sometimes. It's a bit stressful sometimes because there's very little room to relax in a quarter system. Mm -hmm. uh, you always have to be on your toes kind of because there's always an, an assignment due next week or something like that. Always work to do. So there's that's one thing that you can't really relax during the year is going on when the year is going on. Yeah. Uh, as soon as you pay the fees, uh, you get access to the housing portal uh, and which provides you an accommodation via Duo, which is the company which is in conjunction, as you said, with the university. And it offers either studios, which is like a private room with a private kitchen and a private bathroom or shared rooms where the kitchen and bathroom is shared, but you have your own room. So uh, and uh, the thing with that is uh, for bachelor students, as you said, it's uh, for only uh, the first year students uh, that they get to uh, live in the duo accommodation. Uh, but in the masters, uh, it's uh, I think for the entire duration of their study. So I had a friend uh, who was living in the same accommodation as me and he was a master's student and I just uh, went over to him one day and he said my accommodation is for two years and I was like, why is that? Mine is only for one year. So I was also a bit confused about why they do that. Yeah, so, like during our time, it was for two years. Uh, for me also, it was two years. Like you can not choose to extend, but they do it by default. Like okay, yeah. And so, what's yeah. the uh, like the range of range range of expenses for the rent, like the house? Yeah. So. Uh, for, for the duo houses, it's uh, usually in totality um, between uh, 400 and 600. It might be a bit broad, the margin, but uh, yeah, pretty much sums all of them up. Most of them are in between that range. Mine was 500 euros a month. Everything included, internet and all the other amenities. Okay, so how is the social life for an international or Indian student? Okay, so uh, socializing, it's really not a problem. Uh, if It's not going to be a problem if you are, if you like to go out and you're an extrovert and you love partying, uh, but uh, you have to bear in mind that uh, you might not find as many Indians as you like there. It's not just the same number as you would uh, see in like America or something probably. Uh, so my advice is just get a secondhand PS3 or something. Yeah, and play that if you're a bit shy or you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to fraternize or whatever. Okay, uh, so one important thing is that uh, companies don't come over to TU Delft to hire people like they do in India. So you really got to do it yourself. So submit your CVs and you have to go through the entire job application process yourself. Uh, there's plenty of websites that I've uh, looked at. For example, uh, one of them was indeed.nl. I'm sure you must know about it as well. Uh, and there's also uh, part time stuff that you can do on websites like Upwork and Freelancer. So, yeah, that can also be like a pastime for a side source of income if you're really into uh, programming and you want to earn some money with it. Yeah. So, yeah, I think there's uh, plenty of jobs in the Netherlands. Uh, of course, I'm still like learning about it because. Uh, I haven't really gotten one, so I don't know the inside information. I just see what's on the internet. So it's best if uh, people Google that themselves, they'll find a lot of stuff. Yeah, so I'm just going to uh, reiterate what I said in the last video. It's really okay. important to get it's really important to get all your credits. Um, like try to get 60 if you can. That's the perfect number. Then you can start uh, TAing and earn some money. And it's also good for your portfolio. Uh, don't uh, get too much addicted to freedom because that kind of happened to me a little bit for like the, the duration of quarter one a little bit and I just realized that uh, I was just getting addicted and uh, like to Netflix um, and it's really important to just hold it and bear some pain and finish your courses on time and from second year I, I wouldn't say that the studies become easier but you get into that flow and uh, then it's a bit easier to relax. So yeah, second year is the time to really start like exploring Europe 
if you haven't done that before yeah just hold it for year one that's the important one after that you can just do whatever you like okay, okay. responsible with your time yeah that's okay. I think the most Second important advice like uh, first get used to the new situation and then start uh, exploring other new things or doing something else so yeah thank you very much for giving your time on a sunday for this uh, interview for everyone so that people oh, can sure. also yeah know more about doing bachelors in netherlands and uh, if you like this video then don't forget to smash the like button share this video help each other out and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done it yet so i will see you in upcoming interviews and other videos till then peace from netherlands